Something dead has been here. Gabe just got lost in a pyramid. One minute his crazy cousin Sari was right ahead of him in the pyramid tunnel. The next minute she disappeared. But Gabe isn't alone. Someone else is in the pyramid too. Someone. Or something. Gabe doesn't believe in the curse of the mummy's tomb. But that doesn't mean the curse isn't real. Does it? Welcome, kids, to Goosebumps. Tonight's a screening of a very special movie. So tonight's book is The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. This is probably my least favorite book so far, gotta say. So, if you're gonna get offended by this, I'm sorry. Please move on. This, I feel like this does have a lot of connections with the movie um, by the same name. Never seen it. I really don't like mummy movies. I think ever since that horror that was the Brendan Fraser one, I think I just stopped watching mummy movies after that. And I was like, what, seven? <laughs> uh, at seven, I do. Okay. Maybe I should stop. If you guys uh, if you guys know any good mummy movies, uh, point me in that direction. Maybe I'll go check it out. There's a guy. So where there's a guy that keeps walking by. We start our story with a boy named Gabe, begging his parents for water. Oh yeah, more shitty parents, by the way. They don't give their kid fucking water, he's begging them. He's like, no, nope. he's fucking joking. This kid's asking for water. They're like, Don't be an infant, Greg. And, but still, I don't blame them. Fucking Greg is fucking annoying. Okay, he's a fucking little bitch. The whole story is just whining. I know some people that are willing to disagree with you there, Greg. Gabe? I got it right. Gabe? soon leaves the company of his parents to stay with his uncle Ben and cousin Sari. Sari? Is it Sari or Sari? I really don't know. Uncle Ben is not a bad character. It kind of reminds me of like that old Indiana Jones. In fact, this whole book is like a young Indiana Jones novel. Or Sari. Or Sari. She's a bitch. I mean, at least she goes through a character arc uh, a little bit and she becomes well, less of a bitch. Not Gabe, though. He stays a whiny bitch the whole book. Doesn't even solve the main problem. He just kind of does it at random. I don't know if what he did was smart or stupid, but... Hey, maybe it was both. Smoopid. I forgot to mention, Gabe carries around a mummy's hand, about like the size of a child's hand, in his pocket. What? Wouldn't that get annoying? Like, a, a child's hand is still kind of big. Why would you have that in your pocket? Okay, what's wrong with you, man? Why, why are you doing that? I guess he's always carried this around. It seems kind of convenient. And weird. I'm, I'm concerned for the people that hang out around Cabe. <laughs> and a lot of the, there's not really many scares in this. A lot of the scares. Are just kind of, you know, those typical goosebump cliffhanger ones. Honestly, Gabe's a fucking idiot. He, his shoe always unties, he gets lost super easily, he cuts his hand, he almost dies. Yeah, that's a scene. I really wish that the book ended there. But I will have to say, my favorite part about this book, if any, is the character Ahmet, which he, his character leads up to the climax, and I think that was probably the best part of the book. The beginning, the beginning of the climax. The ending didn't pay off for much as me. Oh, you're probably wondering. Hey, this book's called Curse the Mummy's Tomb. I wonder if there are any mummies. Nope. There are mummies, but they're only in there for like half a chapter. And then they move. And then I guess the character's like, Oh, was that a dream? Do we imagine that? Also, no one dies again. Even though Ahmet almost dies, he didn't. He didn't die. Nope. 
Also, the ending is... Uh, it's okay. I guess. It's nothing special. Also, the summoner just makes me ask more questions. This is not a scary book. It's a young Indiana Jones book. Okay? Don't read this if you're looking for spooks, chills, and thrills. You're not going to find that here. Well, I did get some fun out of this a little bit, so I'm going to have to give this a 3 out of 10. So, what did you guys think? Am I an idiot? Was I being unfair to the book? Will Gabe ever not be a pussy? Will Gabe ever realize that CNN is fake news? Tune in next time when we get invisible.